In the last one, I showed you how we can create a form and um, use some CSS to style it. And this one, we're going to try and take everything we learned about HTML and create a simple uh, HTML page. Now, we're also going to use some CSS on this HTML page to see how you can convert the HTML into a nice looking stylized page. Now, some of these things in CSS are pretty straightforward and some of them are going to be very confusing because that will require more in-depth knowledge about CSS, but it doesn't matter. This is just for, uh, this is just so that you get a good uh, understanding before we get into the CSS course and this should be a good precursor for that to see what all is possible with CSS. Uh, let's get into it. I found this um, HTML sample website. Right, so this is the website. It's pretty straight, straightforward. You can see we have a navigation on the top. We have a main down here with some uh, with some text on it. Right, then we have an about section. And the about section has four squares next to each other, nicely aligned. Uh, we have some features section, which does the same thing. Then we have portfolio, where we're displaying a couple of pictures. Then our team, where we have a couple of pictures, followed by some text. And finally, we have a contact section, which is pretty much the footer. So we're going to try and make all this in HTML first, and then we're going to try and apply some CSS to it to see how we turn an, an HTML page into CSS. Right. So I'm going to leave this. I'm, I'm going to leave this open so we can refer to it back and forth. That would be a good idea. And uh, what I'll do is I'll create first of all for our project. Uh, I'll create a new folder. So here's what I'll do. I'll just call this uh, sample HTML page. Just bring that off to the side. We'll open it and we'll start with opening our Visual Studio Code, our text editor. And that's not the one. We'll open a folder called sample HTML page. There we go. Now we'll create our first index.html file. Index.html. And we'll open up with our doc type HTML, HTML language is equal to English. We have a meta character set is equal to UTF-8. This is uh, not so important, but the boilerplate on uh, Visual Studio Code provides this by default, so it's all right. Then the uh, we have a title of the document and we'll call this sample HTML page. We can save this. Let's go live open with live server. If you remember, this was an extension. I This is an extension that you can install in Visual Studio Code. What it does is it installs, uh, it installs uh, an extension that when you activate, it automatically loads the uh, HTML page that you're creating. It loads it on the browser automatically. Otherwise, you'll have to always go over to the browser and keep refreshing. So this allows you to easily uh, preview your work. As you can see, we set up in a sample HTML page. You can see the title pops up there. We don't have anything on the page because we haven't set it up. And this is our template. So we're just going to keep switching back and forth between our, uh, between our page, our live server, and our code. All right. So let's see what all we need for this web page. Right. Let's see this. All right. 
So first of all, they have a they have a navigation bar on top, right? You can see that this will be a header, right? This section will be a header, and it will have an it will have some branding on this side, and then you can see it has a navigation element on this side. So we're going to set up first a header with a branding section and a navigation section. So let's do that. So let's start with the uh, header. Header. And inside the header, we're going to have something related to a branding. So we'll call ours uh, some, some random company name, Brando Moritz. All right. Let's see that. So yeah, there you go. So that's what that is. Right, and then we have a navigation. So let's do that. Mm, we'll say we have a nav. Now, if you remember, we're using specific tags for semantic purposes. Right, we'll put all our uh, we'll we'll put all our uh, navigation elements like home, about, features, portfolio, and all this into uh, into a list. Right. This is uh, the standard practice in HTML. If you have a list, if you have a navigation, you would usually create a list uh, of, uh, of of different sections, of different tabs, and then you would use CSS to style that. So let's do that. So we're going to say L I'm going to say uh, L I, and the first one I'm going to call is Home. Then the second one is going to be About. Right, and uh, okay, we don't need features and partners and team. We'll just create portfolio, um, portfolio. We'll create a. Uh, uh, let, let's also create a team, and finally, we'll create a contact section. Right. So if we save this. We save this, you'll see that we end up with our header section. All right. If we inspect this page, right click and inspect this page, you can come down into body and see that we have a header. When I hover my uh, mouse over this header section, you can see that it highlights the header on the web page. So this is one way of identifying uh, the different sections in your web page. If you want to inspect and see uh, the measurements, for example, or see what all it contains, this is one way to do that. If I expand this header, you can see everything we've written inside it. If I hover over the H1, you can see that it highlights Brando Moritz. If I hover over the navigation, you can see that. The UL, you can see that. And then as I hover over each item, you can see how everything gets highlighted one by one. So this is using Chrome Developer Tools. This section is used uh, is called the Chrome Developer Tools. Now you can access this on a web page by either pressing F12 or you can right click and inspect to open up the Chrome Developer Tools. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, well, we don't need this right now. Let's see. Moving on, we have a uh, we have another section over here in which we have a picture and we have some text on top of it, right? So let's say that was the main attraction of our page when we first load it. So we'll put everything up. Uh, we'll put everything inside the main section. All right. So we'll call it main. And inside main, we had an image, right? And inside the image, we had uh, we had some text, right? So we'll say h2, and we'll say something like uh, okay, we'll say something like the best 
Uh, no, we'll say the 2019 best design and development award. All right. And then inside this, we'll put some paragraph uh, just to make it look good. Okay, we'll just put some lorem ipsum. Now, this is just dummy text. And we'll save this, see what that looks like. Yay, so we have this. Now, we'll get back to adding these images uh, once again. So right now, what we're doing is we're just creating a simple framework. Uh, we can come back and forth and change things around as we customize these things much further. Okay, so that creates our main. Then we had an about section, right? So the about had a heading, uh, some text, and then some uh, these kind of uh, these kind of these kind of boxes over here for each different uh, service, let's say. So let's create something similar. After the main, we'll create an about section. So we'll call this section, uh, and we'll say, okay, first of all, we have a heading. Okay, the heading has a uh, text of about, and then we have some. Uh, we have a paragraph. Let's say Laura Mitsum. Once again, this is just some dummy paragraph. And then we have uh, then we have this section. Let me just clear this. Why does it look like that? Okay, so in the about section we have a heading, we have a paragraph. Well, what happened? Closed. Okay. So we have a heading, a paragraph, and then we have another section. We have a small section inside in which we have uh, different boxes. So let's try and create the framework for that. So I'm just simply going to create a division. And inside this, I'm going to create um, these different boxes. So there's a good extension in Visual Studio Code called Emmet, which allows me to create uh, short forms for uh, different things that I want to do and when I hit tab it would expand into the actual code so the extension is called Emmet and I think it's baked in to Visual Studio Code so you don't have to install anything additionally but if let's say we wanted to create uh, three divisions right so instead of creating div instead of creating divs uh, manually I would just write div into three and hit tab and we would have three divs so great um, inside these divs if you notice we'll have some icons and then a heading and then a paragraph so let's do that so inside this div um, let's do this so I can write this simultaneously for all of them because all of them have the same uh, content. We're just creating a framework. So I'll say each of them will have an icon. Then after that we're gonna have a heading. I'm gonna write an H3 because we have an H1 on top. Okay, this is the main branding. And then each section will have an H2. And then uh, sections uh, within sections will have a lower priority uh, a lower hierarchy of the headings, which is why I'm writing an H3. And after the H3, I would add another paragraph with some dummy text. Um, don't have dummy text. Dummy text doesn't have to be that long, so I'm just gonna keep it that much, All right? And we'll save this. See what this looks like. Great. So we have an about section. Then we have uh, some paragraph. And then this technically is a division, which we will uh, style using CSS into, into different boxes. Right. But you cannot see the icon right now because uh, we haven't provided any. 
and uh, oh we also haven't provided the uh, heading so let's say this uh, h3 is first of all we'll call this one um, web development we'll call this because in our about section we'll have some some text here and then we'll say we have a services section and inside the services section we'll have uh, three services that we'll provide we'll say web development uh, we'll say uh, uh, we'll say UI UX design and we'll say uh, what else we'll say search engine optimization and social media marketing there you go okay so you see that so we have an about section with an h2 we have some text and then we have a section inside that which contains three boxes which will be uh which each have an h3 of web development ui ux and seo sm and we have a paragraph inside this let's inspect this page to see what this looks like if we inspect this and have a look at the about section you'll see what i mean so this is the section this is about right this is the heading then we have a paragraph then we have a division inside this division we have three other divisions inside this division we have three divisions one two and three when we use CSS we're going to customize these into three different boxes of course you can expand each division and see that we have an icon but right now it's not visible because we haven't provided any we have an h3 and we have a paragraph great let's move on to the next section right so we have a okay, stuck again no. okay so we have features here uh we'll create the portfolio what do we create here okay so after about we have a portfolio section so we'll do that so let's see what a portfolio section looks like um all right once again we have a we have a heading we have some text and we have a group of pictures here so we'll do the same thing so we'll create the framework for this so let's come back into this and we'll say section and first of all we'll have a heading and we'll say this heading is portfolio right after that we'll have a paragraph okay with some dummy text right and yeah, that's fine and after that the same way we did um, the about section we'll have a division we'll have a section inside which we'll have we'll place different pictures so let's do that right so we'll say division and inside this division we'll have we'll have six pictures so let's do that so let's say image and you can create an we're going to create an image tag but what i'm going to do is i'm going to create five more using the emmet abbreviation so i can write image into five and create five more this is great so we have six images inside here but um Okay, so you can see there's an image and there's a text on each of them. So if we're going to do that, let's actually make six boxes and put an image and paragraph inside each box. So let's redo this. Let's put a div into six, right? Inside each div, I'm going to put an image plus a paragraph when i hit tab i create six of them this is very convenient as you can see so i'm just going to call uh 
the first one, project one. I'm gonna call this project two. Project three. In fact, there even is an image shortcut to create project one, project two, project three sequentially as you're using abbreviations, but uh, what the hell. Project five and project six. Save this. See what that looks like. There we go. We have a portfolio section now in our web page. You can see the paragraph and you can see that we have project one, two, three, four, five, and six. This entire this entire project section is actually here. Let's look at the header. It's not the header. It's not the main. It's not the about section. It's the portfolio section. So this is the portfolio section. Inside that we have an H2 with that says portfolio. We have a paragraph. Then we have a division that contains all the images. Right? Each uh, inside the division, we have uh, boxes, six boxes. Each box will have an image. But right now, the image doesn't display because we haven't actually provided one. Um, and we have a paragraph. If you go to the next division, you'll see the same thing. Image and project two. Great. Right now, we're just creating a framework. Keep that in mind. As the lesson progresses, we'll start filling this up with CSS and we might move the framework a little uh, around so that we can style things appropriately. Great. So this is what we've developed so far. The header, the main, the about section, the portfolio section, and let's get back into this and see what's next. Okay, after portfolio, we have a team. So let's create a team section. It's pretty much the same. So in this section, we will have once again an H2. And we'll call this our team. Let's see what they did. All right, so they have our partners and they have our team. All right, we'll copy the same design. So we have an H2 with a team and then we have a paragraph. So, and then they have a section and inside the section they you can see that they have three boxes, one, two, three, each with an image, a heading and some text. Uh, let's do the same thing. So we have the name, the designation, some text, and okay, they have some icons. Okay, so let's let's see how we can do this. Let's let's create our own version of this. Right. So we have a heading, and next we'll create a paragraph. Right. And inside this, inside the paragraph, we're going to create a division. Now, why we're creating these individual divisions, why we keep on making more and more divisions will be clear to you once we get into CSS, right? Because it's good to actually group elements of a certain type together so that you can uh, manipulate them in CSS uh, as a group. Right, so we have a division now. And inside this division, we're going to create, uh, we're going to create these boxes. So we'll create three boxes, and each box will have an image, uh, an H3, let's say for the name, and a designation. We'll just do about that much. That should be enough. So we'll create a division, and inside this, we're going to say we'll have div into three. We'll have three divisions. Inside the division, we'll have an image, then we'll have an uh, we'll have an h3 and then we'll also have uh, we also have the designation we'll put the designation in small tags right so when i expand this 
you'll see that we have three divisions one two sorry uh, one two and three and each division has an image you can see an image <coughs> sorry has an h3 and a small okay let's put some uh, random names in this um okay so we'll just call this first one danielle we'll call the second no we'll give it uh danielle call the second one lewis and we'll call this one michelle right we'll give the full name daniel robinson lewis uh the camp and michelle grimes yay and we'll call this one um he will be the uh, founder and ceo lewis will be the uh, marketing head and michelle will be the uh, creative head all right let's save this see what we end up with great so we have our team we have a paragraph then we have a box each box has an h3 with the name and the small as uh, the designation if you want to inspect this we right click click inspect and let's have a look at that all right so first of all we have you can see that we have a header main section this is the about section this is the portfolio this section is the our team section so we have our team we have a paragraph we have a division inside this division we have three boxes each of these boxes have an image we don't have an image because we haven't provided one we have an h3 with the name and we have a small with um, the designation great so we have three boxes like this so we have the header main about portfolio and team lastly we have the contact all right we'll put the contact section inside a footer so instead of creating a section what we'll do is we'll create a footer we have a header and we have a footer inside the footer let's have a look at their footer all right they have a heading some text and it looks like they have three boxes all right one box for uh, their location one box for uh, working hours and one box for a form right so it's pretty much the same like we did before let's add an h2 we'll call this h2 contact contact us right um we'll have a paragraph with some text then we have a box right inside the box we have three divisions one we have a box here inside this box we have one two three three divisions so let's do that so we say div into three gives us three divisions the first division has a heading and some and paragraphs okay so these uh not paragraphs these are actually this could these could be uh this could be an address tag let's create some dummy address right so let's go to the first div and first of all what we'll do is we'll add an h3 and we'll say office then we have an address right right 
we have an address and we have a telephone number and an email great so we'll do it just like we did the navigation so we'll have a ul inside the ul we'll have three list items so li into three great we'll say the first one will be an address so we'll just copy this address the same thing here copy that paste in here okay and here we'll have a telephone number copy that paste it there and lastly we'll have an email that says mail mail at your company .com. okay we have a company name so we'll just call this what was it okay we'll call ours mail at brando moritz.com right save this see what that looks like Great, so we have a contact section with a paragraph. So it looks just like this. We have contact heading, we have a paragraph. Contact heading, paragraph, and then we have a first section. We have a box inside which we have a first section. This is our team. This is the footer, right? Inside the footer, we have a heading. We have a paragraph and we have a division. Inside this division, we have three boxes. The first box is office. The second box is not visible because we haven't put anything in it, right? So the first box is for the address. You can see we have an H3 and we have the address tag. And each individual address line is a list, right? So let's create the other divisions. So we have two more divisions to fill. Let's do that. Um, what was the other division? The other division is for business hours, right? So let's do that. So this is address. This is the first division, right? So let's create the second division. The second division will be, we'll have an H3 and we'll call this hours. Right, and we'll say once again it will be a UL and an unordered list with an LI, two of them, and we'll say, uh, let's say weekdays nine to eight, Saturday. Okay, uh, we'll do it. We'll do it a little differently. So we'll just say Monday to Friday, and we'll say nine a.m to 5 p.m. Great. And we'll say Saturday and Sunday will be closed. Great. Save that. Great. So now we have office hours. And uh, finally, we'll create a form. Right, the third division will have a form. Let's do this. So this looks like we'll have two texts. No, we have one text. Uh, we have one form element with an input type text. We have a form element with an input type email. And a this will be a text area. Because you can drag this. This will be a text area. And then we have a button type submit. And we'll say, uh, the text will be send message, right? Let's do that. So we have a division. In the third division, uh, the third division doesn't have a heading, does it? No, it doesn't have a heading. It just directly has a form. So we say form. And inside the form, we will have uh, input. Type First type is text, right? The second type of input is email, email, and the third was text area, 
right? Save this, see that. And you can see we have a email, uh, we have a we have a text, email and text area. We have to provide the we have to provide the button. So we say button and we'll say type is equal to submit and here we'll just say send. Alright, so we have a send button. Uh, let's put some placeholders in so we can understand what it is. So we'll say type is equal to text. We'll say placeholder is equal to first name, last name. Email is equal to We're going to say, uh, because we're not providing labels, we'll just say enter your email because uh, without that, the person won't know what he's expected to do in the input field. So there you go. This says first name, last name, your email. Uh, we'll put some text into uh, the text area and we'll just say placeholder. Placeholder will say your message great now I know this doesn't look very nice we're gonna turn all this uh, we're gonna turn all this into something that looks like this template all right actually let's do one more thing after this div inside the footer what we'll do is we'll create another division that will contain some copyright information. So we'll just say paragraph, or we'll just say copy, copyright. And if we wanna put the copyright symbol, we can do that by writing and copy semicolon, right? So we say and copy 2019, Brando, Moritz. Yes, all rights reserved. Save this. See what that looks like. Yes, so we have copyright 2019, Brandon Moritz, all rights reserved. We we'll also add a terms and conditions. Yeah, just having fun. Terms and conditions. All right, and we'll make this terms and conditions. We'll make this an anchor tag. So we'll say that is an anchor, and put that in there, save that. And you can see we have copyright terms and conditions. Great. So once again, just to recap, that's pretty much uh, we're pretty much done. All right. So let's recap. We have first of all a header navigation. So this is going to turn into uh, this is going to turn into this section, right? Where we have the branding and the navigation. That's what the header nav is going to turn into, right? Then we have this section. 2019 best award with some text with an image in the background, right? That's the main. That's going to turn into this section over here. It's going to turn into this entire section there. Then we're going to have an about section with a heading, paragraph, and some boxes with some icons in them, some text, right? So that's here. We have the about section. That's section number one. So we have an about, then a paragraph. Then we will have inside that section, we'll have a we'll have a division with three other with three boxes. Then we will have the same format for a portfolio section with a heading, a paragraph, 
and inside the inside the portfolio section we have a division with six uh, boxes each box will have an will have an image and some text moving on we have the same format once again for our theme heading paragraph and a box with an, uh, with an image the name and the designation finally we have the footer which will be the entire contact section so we have a heading a paragraph and then inside that we have uh, a big box inside the footer which will contain uh, three three but three other boxes inside which will be the office our hours and oh, our form finally we have a small copyright section inside the footer itself right great in the next lesson we'll talk about styling each one of these using css i hope you guys are ready for it it's going to be a lot of fun take care